History Mystery Man here back in Madison, Indiana. Big festival today on Main Street. Soup, stew, chili, and brew. But I don't really need a reason to come back to Madison, Indiana. I love this place. It's absolutely spectacular. Madison, Indiana, round two. Let's go check it out. How do you guys like Madison, Indiana? Love it. Do you? Love Madison. All right. I'm from Toledo, Ohio. Toledo. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yes, ma'am. That's me. I, I think came about a year ago, and I I fell in love with this place, and I just keep coming back. I I, I mean, it's almost every weekend for me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's like it's so beautiful. Like I work in Kentucky, and I cross the bridge every day, Kevin. Yeah, way on the other side. And it's just the most beautiful. Like like when I walk, when I drive across the bridge every day, I'm so like it's just so beautiful. We're it's so lucky to live in such a beautiful spot. You you really are. This is like a storybook town. It really is. It's beautiful. And I, I I'm jealous of the people who do live here. Yes. Are you moving here? You know what? I want to. Does that count? I, well, you know, uh, there's like two things, maybe three, but, you know, I got time and, you know, I, we'll this, see that part <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, do you guys, this. Who else could do this? And you know what? I don't know, I moved away and came back, like, I'm one of those people, I moved away to Virginia, but I moved back and this is my home. Well, I love small towns, specifically this one, yes. it really is beautiful. It's a great town. Oh, uh, thanks for. So many great you know, even when there's nothing going on, it's still cool. It's still got the charm and character. Thanks for talking to me. I thank you so much. Here it Look, there it is. Get it. Oh. So my new friend Teresa is going to show me her historic home built in 1860 here in Madison, Indiana. All the homes here are historic, renovated, and absolutely beautiful, just like this one. I'm looking forward to this. Oh Lord, man. Oh, it even smells good. Oh, maybe it's just got that historic old home smell. But this really is beautiful. What what are we in here? What room is well, this? Well, this is the living room. Yeah? And my fireplace is not functional, but it is open. Oh, this is beautiful. And you have, I like the hard wood. The dining room. And this uh, fireplace I got in the historic warehouse and had somebody refinish it for me. So that's a real old fireplace. Really nice. I love the old the woodwork, the, oh, the yeah. wide plank wood around the doors and such. That's so cool. Here. And and we did come up. This is 1860, right? Yeah. 1860, which have, would have been right before the Civil War started. Gosh, this place. If the walls could talk. Ooh, step up. This is your renovated kitchen. Oh, this is spectacular. The the exposed so brick. So I vaulted the ceiling. Oh, you. Oh wow. Oh, so you just. You took out the. I took out the ceiling. And you insulation. took out the ceiling. So would that be like a you? That's new wood up there. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. that's beautiful. Then, are those beams like with the house originally? These beams are the are the ceiling joists. Wow, this is a beautiful kitchen. How nice! What a wonderful place to live. And this is my guest bathroom. Guest know. bathroom? Are you kidding? Now, the guest guy we bathroom. A while ago, he says uh, I should put a ceiling in it, but I wasn't. Heck do no! Don't do that. No way. I you kidding? I could live in that bathroom. I could be happy in there. <laughs> oh, I love that painting. That's so sweet. The Eiffel Tower. And you're French, aren't you? Your last name yeah. is French. Ooh, circular staircase. Well, somewhat. Or you know, it's got a twist to it. The plot. Twist. There's a twist in the plot. There's a twist in the stairway too. That's so really cool. There was carpet on all the stairway. Ooh, you know what? I can feel the footprints in these wooden steps. These are original steps. I'll yeah. bet to 1860. Yeah. That's fascinating. 
Here's my guest. Guest bedroom? Oh my gosh, and it's beautiful. This, this, These hardwood floors, are they original to the home? Yeah. 1860. Poplar. poplar. Imagine the feet now, that have moved across these, these floors. Here, so I left it. Okay. This, this is the master bedroom? Yeah. Oh, how beautiful. Don't get my, uh, don't get my glamour shot. The glamour shot? <laughs> oh, you got glamour shots? Yeah. Where are they? Those are really nice shots. Yeah, I had a Sweet. really good photographer. Yeah, this is nice. This is the master, and you overlook the streets. I love this, and there's your challenger and a tree right out front the window sweet you have done a spectacular job this here this is an original wall here that's an original wall god that is so cool 1860 tell me i need to fill in holes and heck no leave it just like it is can i look in here the bat i love this oh, claw yeah, tub bathroom. that is sweet man you have a Beautiful place. Was this that? is the third level yeah. on these original steps against this. So ooh. now that this one's going to get the scroll work. And I like that. Oh, look at the little painting on there. Oh, my Lord. Is this your hangout room? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can see why. This is like storybook. I love the exposed brick, these original brick walls. And the little windows. I've got some work to do. I could see why this would be your hangout room and not the living room, even though your living room is beautiful. But this space is just warm, comfortable. And, you know, you just, when I'm up here, I just want to, like, hang out, you know? Oh, yeah. I want to be here. I love it. Gosh, you have a beautiful home. And so when you saw this home, what, five years ago? Yeah. And... You saw the for sale sign, you went inside, and it was that day that you put an offer on it? I did. And this, this are these, those beams aren't original to the home? These are original beams. Original beams? Oh my gosh. Oh. This. And these hardwood floors. Uh, you these got floors them. were original. They, they had never had anything glued to them. Wow. 1860. That I'm is so to, um, cool. I mean, that predates the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln was alive when this house once lived, yeah. still lives. I'm a big Abraham Lincoln fan. Love Lincoln. Gosh, you are so lucky to live here. And it's not only the beautiful home you have. You live in Madison, Indiana. Right. Which has, this is probably, I, I, small town America is my thing, and Madison, Indiana, here on the Ohio River, is probably my most favorite small town I've ever been. I can see why people live here i mean i want to live here i love wide plank poplar what a beautiful floor these things here were all painted what was painted my locks oh and so you stripped them of the paint yeah those are original door locks to the yeah. home imagine the hands that have been on those since 1860 <sighs> again if the walls could talk the stories this home could tell the the families that lived in this home and the so many happy memories it brought so many Lady people that, that was born here in uh, she was born here in, in 1890 maybe 1890 i think she born she died in in uh, 1999 are you kidding me here wow in the so, home she I was don't born think she in was here the whole time but she came back to live right that's fascinating and she so died I'm here. I'm assuming it was in families. A lot of these houses. Do I have to ask about ghost stories? Yeah. This house has such a great aura to it and a great feel and a great vibe. If there are ghosts here, they got to be good ones. Oh, my gosh. And there's more. You have a back patio. Place of peace. You got that right. My daughter got that for me. That's nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Sweet. So nice. Do you hang out back here, too? Yeah, no? So nice. American flag, even sweeter. I, I said um, out front more. Do you? Yeah, because there's more action out there, yeah. right? The action, the world going by. This is a cool space. Yeah. It's kind of a, a I, would, I was going to say utility space, but it's... This was part of the fence that was here when I bought the house. Oh, how nice. And I you gave it to Kelly, it. Um, who's got a shop downtown. And the fence was rotten on the bottom and stuff. And she made things out of it. And she wow. made this. That's nice. So I bought it back from her. That's from sweet. 
Oh, that's 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 what's happening today in um, Madison. Soup, stew, chili, and brew. It's a downtown street festival, and there is so much going on. But there's always something going on in Madison. It's not wow, the cellar, the 1860 cellar. Look at this. Yeah. Look at that old stone foundation. One of my rain projects to come down here and get all my stuff put away. Oh, you'll get there. You'll figure it out. I like that. But just this, uh, yeah, everything goes really nicely. You have, uh, you have great taste. You really do. Thank you. Super. This is a home and garden type home. This should be on the something channel. <laughs> I don't know which channel, but it ought to be on one. I mean, how about the History Mystery Man? Let's start with that channel. My favorite channel. Thank you so much. And then when you step out, you step out into more classic homes along the street here. They're also beautiful in Madison. You're right by the courthouse here. Uh, what a fascinating town. And what a fascinating home you have, young lady. Thank you. Just beautiful. Man. Who wouldn't want to live here? Lord. God, look at this corner dentist office in Madison. Isn't it beautiful? Well preserved. That's the coolest den dentist office I've ever seen. So look at this house in Madison. Number one, it's absolutely beautiful. And you said, how much did this sell for? 50,000. I'll take four. Are you kidding me? And you said it had good bones too? It's got yeah. good bones? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. It's a big home too. $50,000 for, and we're right next to the river, the Ohio River. I mean, this is. They put a fair amount look, of money into it, I'm sure. I bet they did, but who wouldn't? Uh, when you can buy a home this beautiful for 50 grand, of course you want to renovate and, and, and invest in it. Look at this old stone wall that borders the property. So this is, uh, are you calling this the new brewery in town? Yeah. The Mad Paddle Brewery. Old historic building. They're still renovating it, but it is open. Yep. It's really got a lot of sweet character. I like it. Oh, is that what it used to be? Or what it used to look like? It must be. Oh my God, look at these original floors. The Mad Paddle Brewery. It's a happening place. Wow. Look at the original beams. Gosh, what a, what a prize. What an artifact, what an antique. And of course, this is where they brew the brew. Man, I gotta look back. This is sweet. That's an old elevator. Wow. Huh. I kind of like want to go for a ride. I can imagine the elevator conversations that were on that in 1890-something. That's cool. I'm glad they preserved it. Look at this Main Street Festival in downtown Madison. My God, this place is jamming. Always something going on here. Uh, you guys are doing it right, Madison, Indiana. Take notes. Beautiful old restored building, the Red Roaster Coffee and Eatery. I'm coming in. This is a really awesome coffee house. Love it. Look at the. That's all original beams, ceiling. Well preserved and packed today here in Madison, Indiana. This is sweet. If I'm drinking coffee, I want to drink it here. Yeah, yeah. Another classic here in downtown Madison, the Coco Safari chocolates. Let's, let's look at it, let's go inside. 118. Oh yeah, this is nice. And guess what? There's a line for chocolate here, as you might expect. Sweet. Literally. Uh, 
Hey, do you guys make all the chocolate here? Everything in the two cases we do. Oh, wow. Right here. That's so cool. So I really like this. Madison has its own toy store. And it is creepy season, October Halloween-ish. Hey, hey, hey. Are you the owner? It's jamming today. And unique to Madison, Indiana. Well, just for the chance to talk to you, I, I'm okay. buying these three bounce balls awesome. and I'm gonna teach myself to juggle. Okay, so, if you need a lesson, let me know. Oh, are you good at it? Not good at it, but I can kind of do it. Oh, really? What's the name of the toy store? McWiggins Wonder Emporium. And were you not in uh, LaGrange for a while? Yes, and why'd we you come to Madison? We were recruited by the Main Street program. Ooh, smart move on them. <laughs> yes. And I think your part too. This, how old is the building we're in, you know? If you had to guess. You have to ask that man right there. How old is the building? 1890. 1890-ish. Very cool. And it was damaged in a fire and you're bringing it back to life? Yes. Is that the deal? Yes. Hopefully. Okay. Well, you have a fascinating toy store. Thank and I you. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of it today. Thanks for coming Thanks. in. Thanks. I'm going to be the best juggler that ever was. Okay. Or will be. Look at downtown Madison. Main Street. The buildings are so well preserved, the businesses are thriving, and the festival's jamming. Welcome to Madison, Indiana. This place. And be a simple kind of man, or be something you love and understand. That you be a simple Hey, how do you like Madison, Indiana? I love Madison, Indiana. I'm I from Madison. Are you really? A yeah, homegrown? Really? Yes. You think you'll keep living here all your life? I sure hope so. Yeah, it's a, I can't think of a reason why I wouldn't. I, I can't either. I, I, it's, it's a great place. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I mean, look at this event. Beautiful. It's beautiful. There's always something fun going on. I know it. I know it. I know it. You're so lucky to be from and live in Madison. I think so. <laughs> Hey, how do you like Madison, Indiana? I love Madison, Indiana. Do you? Yeah. I like hearing that. Are you from here? Uh, no, I'm from Hoboken, New Jersey, home of Frank Sinatra. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. How'd you ever get here? I'm Irish. I live and I live. I never learn. Ah, uh, no, no. Come on. This is a great no, place to live, isn't I manufacture, it? I'm Hoboken Eddie. I manufacture gourmet sauces, barbecue sauces. Do you really? So up on the hill, I have my factory where I make my sauces. And down the street, I have a restaurant at 2840 Wilson Avenue. Home style cooking and barbecue. This, we don't have a menu. We do something different every day. Awesome, right. awesome. And, 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 and you love Madison, Indiana. I love Madison. Indiana. It's a beautiful town, it isn't is. it? It's the greatest. Oh, I love. I love it. being by the river. Like oh. being able to take a walk. And yeah. It's got a lot of, you know, artistic background. You know, artists and musicians and stuff like that. And it's a, a variety of fun. Yeah. It, it, it's jamming. It's jamming. It is jamming. Did you get any of the food today? I got some food. Yeah, right. yeah. I, I, sh I, sh I should have tried yours. <laughs> what? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm leaving. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. All right, all the best to you. Yes, sir. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, how do you guys like Madison, Indiana? We love it. Love it? Yeah. Are you from Madison? Yeah, yeah what a great town. Another awesome coffee shop. Check out those original floors. Love the character of the houses in Madison. They're all different. So well preserved. Look at the old wrought iron fence. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Gotta love it. Check out this awesome old fire station, original to Madison. Going, isn't that beautiful? Going back to 1841. Nice. Just like children sleeping. So 
I'm Cameron and Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Shirley McLean. Filmed here in downtown Madison in 1958. Ah, uh, this place is spectacular. Hey, how do you like Madison? I love Madison. It's do you? Yeah. Are, are you from Madison? Been here about 20 years. Oh, so you're getting to know the place. Yeah, huh? getting to know the place. Isn't it beautiful? It's great. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. You love living in Madison? Love living in Madison. All right, so that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to hear. So so you're running uh, you're running for office? For Madison Court Treasurer. I got you. And you're from Madison? I'm from Madison. Well, I'm a Hanover College grad, a Ball State grad. Oh, Hanover College is an absolutely beautiful campus. It, it's like being at an Ivy League school back there. I checked it out earlier. It's just gorgeous. Well, we're very proud of it. And I bet. And awesome. So you're from Madison. How do you like? Do you still love Madison as well as you always did? I love Madison. It's easy to love, isn't it? It is easy to love, and uh, it's very interesting because, uh, in fact, we were just uh, we just attended a uh, a very interesting session called uh, rewriting the uh, the rural narrative because we really find there's a brain game here and many uh, offsets that I think uh, incorrect assumption that there's just a brain drain in these types of communities. Not in Madison. Not in Madison. Believe me, we have such a vibrant uh, group of people who care about their community. I can tell. And I can see it. Uh, and I hope that we will be able to continue that in the years ahead, and I'm confident we will. She doesn't make the soap, does she? She does. Oh, wow. Here, I'm going with the lime coconut soap. I, that smells the best to me. You, you know what? I didn't know. You actually make the soap here? We do, yeah. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. I should oh, my gosh. That's, well, I mean, right here at the shop? We make it right in the back, yep. We you're kidding me. 45 types of essential oil soaps. Oh, my God. When do you do that if you're trying to run well, a business actually, out here? They're usually my recipes, and I start making them, but then I have a gal that helps me. Um, my husband made it for a long time, and one of my sons... And now I've hired another gal, and she does a lot of the soap. Oh, I, I, now that I know you, it's homemade here, I want it even more. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>